teams at the top of the AFC to separate themselves? Um, to be honest with you, at this point, it's you know it's a number of things. You know, who, who's going to be the healthiest? Also, who's going to you know really kind of execute the best? Who's hot right now? Um, you know, I think right now going into this next game, going against another great team, Pittsburgh, and coming off that win, I think it's a you know, good thing for us as a team. You know, we got a little bit of momentum now. We can build off of that and, you know, be able to have a really good game going going to like a hostile environment. So it's gonna be exciting. How much respect do you have the guy for a guy like Roethlisberger and OG who's been doing this since No, no doubt. You see him play, he's, you know, yeah. he's 39 years old, but he's out there battling till the end. Oh, no doubt. I mean, you got to respect guys who've been in the league for as long as he has. I mean, he's seen a lot of football, seen a lot of formations, seen a lot of great players. and. You know, whenever, whenever you play against that type of talent, you know, you got to be on your P's and Q's. I'm excited about it. This was my first time actually playing in Pittsburgh, so I heard a lot of things about it. I heard it's super cold, you know. So, you know, I think going against, like you said, man, a Hall of Fame type quarterback is going to be, you know, a challenge for us. And they're good runners as well. Um, they got really good offensive line as well. Um, Najee Harris, former Alabama player. You know, I've seen a lot of film with him, played with him. Um, you know, he, he is as, a, as advertised. You know, he's a really good running back. So it's going to be a great challenge for us defensively to stop the run and be able to, you know, uh, kind of get Ben, you know, rattled a little bit because he's seen everything. So um, going against another Hall of Fame quarterback like that, you just got to try to hit the skies and do as much as you can to try to get him off his game. Statistics don't always tell the story, but if your first game back, you get a bunch of tackles, mm -hmm. pick up, I mean, that, that mm -hmm. get the interception, do a lot for your, your confidence, give you a little boost there. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, just getting back into the, the groove of things, uh, you know, missing as much time as I did. Um, it's always good to kind of start off hot like this, and, you know, I'm just going to build off it. And, you know, the, the things that I was able to do and the, and the training stuff, I got a shout out to them because, you know, they helped me a lot, you know, get my leg back prepared and, you know, 100, not, not really 100%, but close to 100% uh, to be able to, you know, play at a high level. So, you know, I got to give kudos to those guys.